negli ultimi 50 giorni ho imparato italiano per parlare con lei e con te. This is Mavi. She's the cutest person I've ever met. We've been dating for almost four years and quite recently we even moved in together. Yet I never learned her native language of Italian. A fact that didn't only make it hard for me to connect with her Italian family, but which deep down also gave me the feeling that we don't yet fully know each other. So with her birthday coming up in 50 days, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to finally learn Italian while making sure she doesn't find out about any of this then be able to surprise her. Now the very first step was to begin by finding the perfect strategy for learning Italian. Because not only was I very busy and only had two hours per day to study, but also even though Mavi is a very humble person, she for some reason loves receiving gifts so much that she started to expect a lot for her birthday, which means I actually have to be pretty good in Italian if I don't want to disappoint her. So I listened to TED talk after TED talk, watched videos of people that attempted something similar and read countless of articles. And after a while, I finally found a three-step strategy by an author called Scott Young that seemed like the perfect one. Meaning I was ready for step one, learn the basic vocabulary of Italian as quickly as possible. Now, I still had to make sure that Mavi doesn't find out about any of this. So I started by listening to an introductory audio course and by secretly learning vocabulary to the side with a software called Anki. And at first, this actually seemed to be the perfect start. I was progressing fairly quickly and was able to form my very first sentences. However, as you might have guessed it, after a while, some problems started to emerge. Because even though I had a high intrinsic motivation to study, my brain slowly tried convincing me to take things a bit more slow. Something which I later found out happens to most people while learning any new skill, as building new neural connections is actually quite stressful for the brain, which thus builds up some inner resistance. Something which you just have to push through for a while before it quickly gets better, but also something which I didn't yet know about, which just led me to start to procrastinate. And in my case, this was convincing myself that watching movies with Italian subtitles is just as good as learning Italian as any other strategy. All until on day 14 out of 50, I realized that I didn't really progress anymore. Yeah, even though it's day 14, I think I learned like six hours, so like maybe 30 minutes a day maximum on average. And second of all, I'm also super inefficient. Like most of the time I'm listening to this audiobook on my headphones, but I realized that most of it is touristy stuff. Like, dove è la cattedrale? Or, um, posso, uh, uh, posso? <sighs> so, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I wish I could just fly to Italy and invest a lot of time, go to calls with people, make it super efficient also. But it's not like I can just suddenly fly to Italy, right? Once I was in Italy, everything started to pick up again. Sure, I still had my moments of productive procrastination I was watching movies like Harry Potter, where, fun fact, some of the characters have very fine translations, but I was also spending a lot more time learning. I kept studying with the flash cut software, kept listening to the audiobook, and finally was able to complete the basics. Which meant I was ready for step two and jump into early conversations. Now, I definitely didn't feel ready to start speaking Italian. Something you can probably hear from my very first Italian lesson with an incredible tutor called Davide. E mangiare molto bello una pizza e adesso è la the grama now. <laughs> okay. But that's also the full point of this. To practice, to fail and learn way faster like this than otherwise possible. Now I only had 10 days in Italy as I joined my family for the vacation to have an excuse for Marvel. So I kept meeting daily with Davide, all while expanding on the basics by learning with the vocabulary software I mentioned earlier and by listening to a new audio program called Language Transfer. And after returning to Germany 10 days later, I had made way more progress than in the first 14 days of learning Italian. Now while Marvi's birthday kept coming closer and closer, once I was back in Germany, 
things started to become a bit more difficult again. Because as Mavi kept working from home most days, I was forced to study in the most random locations. First, I started in restaurants and cafes, but once I noticed that even the two workers left the room, because I guess I talked pretty loud while on the phone, I just didn't want to study inside anymore. And once I was studying outside, it was way harder for me to focus, because there were loud noises, there were people looking at me weirdly, which step by step made my progress of learning Italian look exactly like the three-step learning strategy where I just hit a plateau where my brain again wanted to procrastinate. However, this time it was different. Because even though there definitely were those moments where I was just unmotivated to learn, I also knew that Mavi's birthday was just 15 days away, which meant I had no choice but just to push through and make it until the deadline. Now the final step was actually really similar to the previous two steps. I still kept learning the basics, I still kept meeting with David in the most random locations, just this time had more of a real-life application. For instance, even though the previous meeting with Davide were 50% grammar and 50% just me trying to speak Italian, now I slowly transitioned to only speaking with him. And also for the very first time, my productive procrastination of watching movies was actually a tiny bit productive. <laughs> and with only three days left to go, I just went outside and gave my best, just pushed myself a tiny bit more to be good enough on Mavi's birthday. So I listened to the final lessons of the audio course, reviewed everything that I've learned, and thus reached the final day of me learning Italian. Okay, so I had my last Italian lesson, I repeated all the vocabulary, and I also finished the audio course. So I guess it's time to present the gift to Mavi. I really hope she likes it. Now three days earlier, I already met up with my cousin Felix, who is a phenomenal cook that coincidentally on the very same day started cooking in a new restaurant. Meaning, I already had the perfect location in check. Second, Mavi had no clue what the present could be. One guess. Is Harry Styles involved with it? No, no Harry Styles. <laughs> and finally, we also didn't miss the train. Meaning the only person who could mess it up was me. However, while we approached the place, even though I definitely was nervous, mainly I was feeling really grateful. Grateful that I was able to learn Italian in just 50 days, even though I never was the biggest talent for learning new languages. Grateful for how much I enjoyed learning something new. And grateful for the people I met along the way, such as Ramiro, whom I met in a hostel while I stayed in Italy, and especially for Davide, whom I got to know so well from all the conversations we had, that I can already call him a good friend of mine which all inspired me to learn 11 more skills in the coming months and then share what I've learned along the way here on YouTube. And after I set up the camera, all there was left to do was to reveal the surprise to Mavi. Nelle ultime 50 giorni ho imparato italiano per parlare con lei e con te. Non è perfetto? Ah! Are you praying? No, oh. no, no, I was not praying. I'm ah, sorry, I don't want to. Yeah, no worries. I will, uh, yeah. <laughs> non è perfetto, ma penso che um, la sorpresa ti piace. So you're gonna learn Italian? In no, prova di uh, chiedermi qualcosa. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Con Come Molto bene, sì. Prova di qualcosa, mi, uh, qualcosa più difficile. Ok. Did you learn Italian? Italiano, solo. 50 giorni. Con un tutore molto carino. Chi è? Davide, di Bologna. È un uh, dottore. Is the guy from YouTube? È ragazzo Mavi. di YouTube? No, non è un ragazzo di YouTube. È un... Uh, È di Prepli, è una pagina di internet. E ti sei messo a imparare l'italiano? Sì. E a Bologna studiare molto? E a Toscana a studiare molto? Per questo è nato a Bologna? 50 giorni, sì. E, e per te? Perché? <ride> perché voglio farti felice. <ride> e per questo la, la, la tua mamma. Perché credo che è molto importante che la tua mamma e mi uh, e io. possiamo parlare italiano. Sì. Uh -huh. <ride> Ti piace? Non ci 
sí creo. ¿No? No. And so the evening continued. We kept talking Italian. Later on, Felix surprised Mavi for her birthday. And Mavi and me really grew closer together since filming this scene around four weeks ago. So do you, are you happy about your present? Very happy. Because you didn't seem so happy in the reaction. <laughs> I'm very happy. I was very shocked. Yeah? I was very, very shocked. because so I you thought, couldn't react? No, I thought it was a joke, you know? I was like, did he just learn the sentence? Or does he really know Italian, you know? Uh... Yeah. And if you're also curious to learn a new skill or just need a bit of extra inspiration to get started, then you can watch this video next. So you happy? Yes. Sei felice? Sono molto felice. Bene. Mi piace. Il mio ragazzo parla italiano benissimo.